Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. We are here today in a different world than normal because we have some testing to do with redstone over here. So this is my test world, just where I test everything. Different variations of redstone, redstone wiring, etc, etc. New features like that thing, the beacon, ender vaders, which by the way is pretty cool, but that's not why we're here. We are here for this. Now as you may remember, I was given the suggestion of making the interior entrance to our cellar a hidden entrance. Oh, hidden buttons. Uh, I am a creator, for those of you that didn't realize, you can tell because there's no food bar, no health bar, and I can fly. So the sun's setting quickly, we'll just fix that quickly. So here we have a very complicated array of redstone materials. When we hit this button, we now have a staircase. And this is what I want to do with our cellar inside. So, let me talk through this with you guys for a second. So that button there goes through this block, triggers that thing, and this is what's called a T flip flop. There's actually two designs I can show you over here. flip-flops. I'm using blocks of redstone. There are other ways of doing it that's cheaper. Say if you replaced this... Oh, forgot that. that's how it worked. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys this one because this one gets complicated. Let's go ahead and put this back. And it's not a sticky piston, is it? It's the other type of piston. Uh, I'm causing more problems than I'm solving, guys. There we go. Like that. Okay, I'll show you with this one, then. This, as you can see, when I hit the button, which is over here, it moves that block here, and it stays there. Because of this thing here, when this activates, the power goes through that into there, but it also goes up. So it's not a full tick. Uh, take us one tenth of a second, I believe. It's not a full tick that this is actually powered for. So that piston is only powered enough for it to register putting the block out and not enough for it to register putting the block back in. But with that same effect, say you did. Uh, this could be slightly complicated because of that. Yeah, we'll go this way. Say you had a redstone torch here, and a repeater there, and then redstone there. When you have this block here, you hit that button, that moves the block out, that redstone's now powered. This is much more efficient than just using a block of redstone, but it takes up a lot more space. And since we have a lot of redstone in our world, we're not going to be redstone efficient we're going to be size efficient now now that we have that figured out uh, I also put this facing downward as you guys can see that powers this and that goes into this assembly here for this first block this is actually a block swapper this whole redstone array here just this part just that part is just the block swapper for this first block. The rest of this is... there are blocks there. The rest of this is basically just a slightly more complex version of the uh, invisible door, which I can demonstrate over here. Yeah, the piston doors. It's basically that, only sideways or upside down. 
That was more efficient than doing it like this, using uh, bud switches or block update switches for those of you who don't do a whole lot of redstone. But that's a discussion for another uh, day. So, this is what we're going to build inside the uh, the house. Right next, in the that back area, that little small room that we have, I'm going to build it in there on the right hand corner along the wall. As you guys can probably tell, this is a wall. So, I'm going to cut here and be back to you guys when we have that done. So see you guys in a bit. It's been too long guys. It's been a few days. Anyway, same episode. Still one of the roof done, but... We have this thing in here, which still doesn't work for some reason. Everything works except for that piston there. That piston refuses to trigger properly, and I have no idea why. So if any of you guys can think of any reasons as to why that piston isn't triggering, let me know because I'd be interested in finding out. Uh, that's kind of the reason it's been so long, because I've been troubleshooting this for a while now. There is, yep, there is a redstone uh, dot in there, and that is lit, which should be powering this block, which should be powering that piston, but that piston doesn't power. And I don't know why, I've tried everything. So if you guys have an idea of how to make that work, maybe I uh, wouldn't trigger just yet. Let's see if that does anything though. See, it, it retracts just fine, but when it comes to putting it back out, that isn't pushed back like it should be. It should be pushed back and it's not. Let me just make sure I don't have too many blocks in there right now, because I might. All those are triggered properly. All of these are retracted properly. For some reason this one got pushed way back here. That shouldn't have happened. So I'm going to go with yes, there was... Uh, too many pistons in there. Let's just break our way out here. Okay, we want this to go again. I'm not entirely sure what's wrong because I've checked the original designs that I'm basing it off of, and there's no variation at all. So, somewhere. There's an issue that I just can't find. So eat quickly. Throw the cobblestone back. Okay, let's try this again, see if that works. Still doesn't work. You see it's not triggering like it should. That piston there isn't triggering. It's apparently not that block. That block doesn't help any. That should be set to full delay, which it is. The second one should be set to no, or one tick delay, which it is. That redstone should be in the center. That's set to full delay. The next one over is set to full delay. That's not a block. Full delay, yes, full delay. And this last one should be lit too. Well, it has to be because those pistons are extended. So, this piston here is a problem. I'm not sure why at all. So, yes, if you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that, let me know because I, I'm out of ideas now. It's not working, and it should be. 
Other than that, everything's finished. At least in terms of the staircase. But then we want to come down here. I want that to be a roof. And this is going to be our basement type thing. I really only want it three tall, but we'll make this an upside down stair. Like that. Uh, let's fill in the sides. There we go like that and like that. Then we'll fill in this here. Alright, let's hit the button again. Still isn't triggering properly. But other than that, it covers up like it should. Uh, I can probably take this torch off now. No, I had that torch there for a reason, didn't I? Because this corner was too dark for some odd reason. Even though the rest of it's fine, just that corner's too dark. Okay. Button again. All of that works properly. Uh, yeah, that needs to go on the wall. Also, throw one here. Now, we need to figure out how to actually set up this basement, attic, not attic, uh, cellar, that's the word, the cellar area. Now I do want, let's get over here, uh, on this side over here, I was thinking of making a deck off of the bedroom up there, that would come out here, we'd have to get rid of that tree. But then under it, down here, there would be a lowered, there would be stairs going down underneath this wall where you'd have the entrance to the cellar. So let me know what you guys think of that, and we'll see how that works. Let's get rid of this tree over here. Don't really have a whole lot to talk about in this episode. It, again, it has been a while. I was trying very hard to get that staircase working, and I can't figure out what's wrong with it. All the redstone in the area is wired up just like it should be, and it's not triggering. Just that one piston. Also had some problems with other pistons that weren't triggering properly, but I did fix those. That was just me wiring it wrong. Had to go through and double check and triple check and quadruple check everything. The rest of it's working now. Just that one piston in there isn't working. I may never know why. That block's powered, that block above it isn't, but then if I put another block below it, that block should be powered too by that redstone, and that didn't do anything either. So just about every block around that piston is powered, and yet it's not getting power. I'm a little confused, guys. Just a little bit. So yeah, let me know if you guys can think of anything. Uh, let's just make sure, yeah, it all seems properly lit. Nothing should spawn down here. There's our uh, T flip flop up in there. You hit that button, it triggers that and pushes this down. It triggers the rest of it. Here's our block swapper. Which I don't think I ever actually showed you guys how this works. Uh, maybe we I can show you that. So, I'll be back in a few seconds in the test world to show you guys how that works, and then we're probably going to end the episode there. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. In our test world, there's a chicken around here somewhere. There it is. I hate the sound their feet make. Just die. There we go. Dead chicken. Put the grass back. Here we go, block swapper. This is a slightly less compressed design than what I'm using currently. Actually, we can go ahead and compress this. Here, we just need five ticks of delay right there, and that block should power that redstone. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. 
So there were a few changes from the last update where it wasn't quite working properly. Uh, this actually is necessary here. Uh, the last update, four point whatever, this only needed to be, I think it was only four ticks of delay, and now it needs to be five, which threw off everything. It took me forever to figure that out. The original design, by the way, was from uh, CNB Minecraft. I'd link you guys to his channel, but he hasn't put up a video in a year or more, so... If, if you really want to check him out, you can just type it into Google. It's CNB Minecraft. Yeah, this is a block swapper. Uh, that looks like eight ticks of delay there. No ticks there. Redstone torch under there. Redstone block, or not block, dot. That's a dot. Redstone there, two ticks, five ticks, redstone, power, pistons. And as you can see, it switches the black block and the white block back and forth, depending on whether or not it's powered. And, yeah, that's what that does. Now I was thinking at the bottom of the steps, I would do something similar to this. Just just the one side, because again, it's not a 2x2 two two staircase, so just the one side. Up. That's kind of loud. Similar to that, uh, whenever the staircase was triggered, I'm also going to have another button on the bottom of the staircase that'll re-trigger it so it closes again. You know, it's just this thing. You can have more than one button going into it, and it won't be a problem at all. So say I put a button here. Ran some redstone in. It still works. So yeah, that's pretty much this episode. So, for those of you that are still with me, uh, this episode may actually take a while to get up. Might not be until next week, really. My internet's been acting up again. So, yeah, if you're still here after that week, thanks for sticking with me. You're still here at the end of the video, thanks again for sticking with me through all this, this rambling and technical redstone stuff. Yeah, uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, you can go ahead and subscribe to the rest of you. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.